So he's a frozen tree with an all-new taste, cause they came to this planet from outer space. A refugee from an interstellar war, and now he's at your local grocery store. Cookie Cat, they're the pets for your tummy. Cookie Cat, they're super duper yummy. Cookie Cat, they all kind of just let their family by. Jay. Cookie Cat! Now available off Gurgans off Route 109. <laughs> hey, we here. What's up? How are you? Good recording, brother. <laughs> I know, right? S seriously, if you take a look at this, this is ridiculous. We have clouds. So I don't think we'll be able to get much in terms of microphone. But hey, we'll never know. Yeah, My true. hope is that we should just record until it becomes so inaudible that we can't hear ourselves. In which case, we just take out the microphone. Yeah. Well, you can you have to take out the microphone. Just leave the microphone going, and then cut off the, all the audio, or just leave it on there. It'd be great. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. I, I don't want the viewers to hear. That's true. So, uh, I think it reminds me of, um, a couple of years ago, it was, it was FIFA 20, 13, 12, something. I don't remember. All I know is it was so, in Brazil. Soccer. Yes, soccer. They allowed um, attendees to have a Vuvuzela. A Vuvuzela? Yeah. It's 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 noise making horn. Oh uh, no! Beep. No, oh, okay. not an air horn. Okay. It's just a long tube that you can blow into, oh. and it makes one tone. It's and it's noisy and annoying, and there were hundreds of thousands of people using these things. I mean, and so it's, YouTube. It's football. That's true. And so YouTube, as a parody of this, added um, a. FIFA mode to their videos during the FIFA Cup, where it just played the audio of Vuvuzelas loudly over <laughs> all of the audio from the actual video. That's beautiful. It was super fun. It sounded like bees. Well, I mean, yeah. Oh, by the way, speaking of football, yeah. have you heard of Scott Sterling? Scott Sterling? I have heard of Scott Sterling. Oh, goodness. <laughs> That's so funny. I mean, for Lord's sakes, he is the greatest goalie to have ever played the game. <laughs> No one can deny this. Right. You want to know why? He's able to stop a whole bunch of balls from getting past him with his face. Right. <laughs> I couldn't do that. I could totally do that. I, I mean, I'd be in the I'd be in the hospital with a year-long coma, but I could totally do that. Right. And one ball would probably get past. Anyway. Yay! We're gonna be recording a little bit later today. Yep. We, we already had. We haven't Street Fighter 5 on the channel in a while. I know. So we've got Third Strike, which we already recorded a little bit of. We've got Street Fighter 5, which is going to be coming up in a little bit. Speaking of which, I really need to get that last Bison video uploaded. Oh, yeah. Um, we've got ourselves, if I'm correct, Rivals of Aether, which actually got its full release. Yep. So, yes. Who are we going to be playing, though? Uh, all of them. There's only eight characters. Yeah. I'm pretty comfortable with all of them now. Really? Well, I'm not like good comfortable, but I can play all of them except for uh, Orkane and Edelus. Oh, that's I'm okay. Orkane? So bad at Orkane and Edelus. It's okay. I've got Orkane. That's good. Because, like, and Edelus is not, it's not a really hard character to play. I just don't use all of his tools because as a player, I have a hard time thinking around having a projectile. Oh. And he's technically a zoning character. His, his, like, it's side B or, or, or side special. I can't remember what the, the falling icicles. Yeah, the, the falling icicles. That is a super super short cooldown move. You can almost spam it. In fact, you should be spamming it. It covers the stage in ice, which improves your mobility. Of course. It, the one thing that I'm actually kind of considering about is uh, once those icicles are around, that little uh, down smash in the air that he's got. Mm, yep. Yeah, that scares me, especially if I have to get Captain America. Well, that's true. Though you can parry it. You can parry the freezing animation. Oh, that's right. This will let you, um, well, it actually puts him in uh, parry lag, so. I completely forgot about that. Yep. Can can you reflect the icicle spikes back at him? Uh, I don't think it reflects icicle spikes. Damn it. I, it might put him in parry lag, or it might just, um, uh, or it might just deal a little piddly damage to him. I don't really know. <clears throat> I'll have to remember that. Uh, it's fascinating, though. Mm. Also, I don't remember if you were, were around whenever this patch was thrown in, but 
they made, and I don't know if it's still around, I, I just I really fell out of touch with the game whenever my system stopped working with it. Um, there was an adjustment made to parry lag a little while back, wherein the, uh, with certain moves, the further you are away, the longer your, par uh, your parry lag is. That's interesting. This was specifically in relation to the issue where Absa could hit with a really big, strong moves that are also super long range. Yeah. And then get parried and then get away for free. Oh wow! Okay. Like uh, the neutral, the like overcharged neutral special where you detonate the cloud and your and yourself with the giant line of lightning. Yeah. Used to that it had the same parry lag as everything else, so you could hit people from across the stage, but and they couldn't do anything about it. But then they made an adjustment. It's like the further away, the longer it lasted. Yeah. It looks like it, I think it caps out at like, I think the highest you can maybe get it is around a second. Okay. Which is insane, of course, because it doesn't take any character a second to get across the stage. But I think that's like the super special snowflake case of I put it in the bottom corner, I went to the top corner on the other side of the screen, I parried and then managed to fall to the ground to start my parry lag. Hmm. I don't know how you possibly get that long. Uh, we should test it some point. Yeah, just, well, just out of curiosity. Well, hey, we're going to be recording, so that's yay, true, why not? True. And we'll be getting more melee, so yay. Uh, maybe I'm more melee. I'm honestly getting really excited to, to like learn some melee stuff. I'm not really tackling it with the I'm gonna learn one character to go crazy style because you're gonna learn with the whole the physics engine, I guess. Well, kind of. So the big issue I ran into with melee is it doesn't have any character to me that like really sticks out. What I was me like from um, Dim Lucario, let's be real. Uh, you got a point there, and I mean Kirby's actually decent in PM. Uh, yeah, which I so I'm always so sad to see that like some of the cast members just can't do it. That said, as Gabe has pointed out on several occasions. Um, more of the cast have been recently demonstrated to have, like, competitive viability. Not like, I'm going to win a national competitive viability. Because not only do you have to compete with the best characters, but you also compete with the best players of the best characters. So, well, which characters uh, would have the best viability? Because all I'm thinking is, Fox Falco, okay. Peach Marth Sheik, okay. Puff, Captain Falcon, of course. Ice Climbers, right. Ganondorf, nope. Well, no. So, I guess if, if you're trying to list all the characters that are now considered viable, then yes, can. Okay, Vi viability is what I'm going for. I thought you're, if you're going like top viability, no. Okay, Samus Pikachu. Right. Luigi. Because Wave Dash. And, uh, if I'm also correct, uh, Yoshi. Yoshi, yeah. I, I totally forgot about him. Dr. Mario. Dak, yeah. And oh. like, and regular Mario, I would assume it's. I forgot. How's it going, man? How's it going? It's going all right. Going. We, we record it. We talk about stuff. Most notably, um, who the currently considered viable cast for Melee is. Other than I can't remember all of them. Fox Falco, Peach, Marth, Cheek, Captain Falcon, Jigglypuff, Luigi, Ices, Ices. Yoshi, hmm. uh, I think Mario and Dr. Mario are both considered pretty viable. Do you really think Mario is considered viable now? Uh, yeah, he's been considered. He's, he was actually high, like placed higher than Dr. Mario for like the longest time. Really? Until, until Shroom <coughs> showed that like Dr. Mario was just better. I would say like, cause forward air, forward air. Yeah, it is pretty stout. But Nair, is, <coughs> but but Dr. Or, like Mario is Nair. Nair is insane. Well, like so. As entertaining as Dr. Mario's Nair is, it's a little harder to use. Yeah, it effectively. Does, it, just, it doesn't do. It doesn't feel right. 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 Mm. Well, it does. You lose the uh, the like. So you lose the ability to push opponent, opponents off of you with it. Yeah. <clears throat> so it, it less versatile overall. Yeah, you, you can't use this Nair out of shield. And such. Doc can't use it, but Mario can use it. Yeah, because yeah, he Mario's got a traditional sex kick, and Dr. Mario has a what's called a Viagra kick. It's called a Viagra kick. It's stronger <laughs> as, as the longer like it's out. That's clever. Yeah. So instead of getting like instead of getting weaker over time, like other uh, aerials, it's actually stronger. Mm. Yep. Uh, let's see. Samus Pikachu. Samus Pikachu. You already mentioned Yoshi, I think. Yeah, I think I mentioned Yoshi. Uh, young. Uh, Sort of. Sort of, yeah. He's more he, of a counterfeit character. You really think so? Yeah. That's, uh, at least that's the way, like, that's that. Okay. Well, that seems Because cool. off. Uh, well, so he's, he's good against the buff. I tell Puff figures out how to, how to deal with it. Uh, because he's, 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 he's,
because like the, the thing that Puff wants to do is do nothing. Of this. course. Like you can't do nothing against characters. Which is why Fox is the best character in the game. The best character. Yeah. In that specific situation. Yeah. And then, of course, there's always Roy. I mean, he's our boy. With, a, with the limp noodle. Something about a skilled Roy beating any Fox. Yeah. Yeah, no. <laughs> no. Uh, a skilled Roy can beat a Ganondorf in any day of the week. That's good. And a skilled Roy can somewhat. I think Ganondorf's considered like just barely the top of, of like the, the unviable. I could see that. I was gonna say there's only like two like there's only two crazy good Ganondorf players. The Zaro Flame and I'm sure somebody else. Kage. Kage. Kage? Kage. Kage. I mean for God's sakes they money matched at Evo. How could you not know this? Uh, I mean they money matched a lot actually. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. There's only there's only two. And one and I think Eichelman's kinda getting better with him. And they were the real game players for like two years. Style and one had like the most insane style. You're just moving, you're moving, you walk and you walk up people like this. Just part of how he played the game. Breakfast! Gosh! He was a jock. He's totally a jock. Using Ganondorf's fun tools. Exactly. Spacing. All that <laughs> boring stuff. Uh, please. <laughs> There's nothing boring about that. But it does mean that you can't do things like super SDI away from Falco Shine, which yeah. is what I have gotten really comfortable doing so playing as Falco and Fox a lot. Exactly. Yay. Food. I have no idea, however, what this guy is. Or what this guy is, because I'm guessing this is zucchini. That's crab. This is crab? That's crab. Okay, we got barbecue, we got crab, and I think we got zucchini and rice. So yay, Thai food. Forever to do that. <laughs> so many people here in Smash. Breakfast. Yay. Friends. You're right. We have a good time. We go to Abilene soon. Yeah. Oh, look, such fun. And it's waiting. God, He's still in. He lost. Where, where's Salty? Yeah. So, good try. Next time. Next time. How was he invisible? How was he invisible during that Firefox? Yeah. He, he like did Firefox and there was no damage. Oh, it's oh, okay. Um, oh, I wasn't paying attention. Uh, I just did the thing. Okay. Oh, I'm doing grands. Dude, fourth place. That's not that bad. Fifth place for me. That's not that bad. Clayton, I think, seventh place? Uh, seventh place from Clayton? Ninth? He got top eight, so seventh. He got seventh, I got fifth, you got fourth, he's in grands. So he's either getting second or first. So the usual. Welcome, welcome to Smash Bros. Stephenville scene. Yeah. Uh, still. I've got Link! I've got a Link! Oh. 
Uh, gl aerial, aerial glide toss with the bomb. Yeah, yeah actually, it that's a thing. Recovery is super significant. Like, yeah. well, and you can draw it. Like, well, when you go off stage, you can draw it. Oh, homie! Well, I mean, like, for me, I know um, if I throw the bomb upwards, I can hit it with my uh, up B and send it towards the opponent, but that takes way too long sometimes. Oh, no, we're talking, like, you input, um, you input uh, air dodge up and then throw shortly thereafter, and you, throw the, you can throw the bomb whatever direction you want, and you'll move, that, you'll move the direction you air dodge. Oh. So you do, you can do air glide toss up and then throw forward, which... Perspective on a camera, that's cool. Yeah. Um, so you can like pressure the stage while also recovering. It lets you, it makes recovery super simple. Mm. That said, you can also do uh, draw a bomb, Z drop down air, and, and damn, destroy the bomb. And save yourself flying. That's a lot harder. <laughs> I can't do that. Uh, 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 no, down air is really strong. Wait, oh, it's the up special. Yeah, up special only works once. Unlike two, it works like four times. Link stuff while they're in the middle of a match. Progress. Anyway, Grands is about to start for him. I don't think I'm going to record that as much as I would think we can. It would take too much data. Let's see.